turn on your notification bell. You will still get those information you are looking for. Thank you. Consternation over sporadic shooting at Namdekano's country home in Omaha here. That is in Afaruku to be precise. The home, the country home of uh, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPB, Benyendo Mazanakano. Talking about Isiama Faruku. Police, Nigerian police, were cited shooting sporadically within that vicinity. And you were saying, for what reason? Why? Why the shooting at the hometown of the leader of the IPB? What is the intention of the police? And so, the younger brother to Mazinam the Kano, Ka Anunta Kano, said in his tweet, This intimidation by at Nigerian police in my family home got to stop. Don't remind us of 14 September 2017. Stay away from my family. I won. That's his statement in his tweet. And so, but the reports we received indicated that, look, a detachment of police personnel had stormed the entrance gate to Onyendu's father's palace and shot sporadically. All right. An eyewitness said that the, the police personnel drove in a hillox. They came from the gate of the commissioner of police. You see? So this is what the police is doing now. The police have to tell the world what they want to achieve with this kind of action. They are causing high BP, high blood pressure for people in that neighborhood. Of course, you realized or you will recall that it's not it's not been quite long, just barely two weeks ago. The military said they are carrying out free Medicare, free Medicare of all the places in Omaha here. Yes, of all the places in Aba, in a, in Abia State, I beg your pardon, in Abia State, they choose Omaha here. And of all the places in Omaha here, they choose the community of Onyendu, Mazinamlekano. What for? What for? We're asking. And now, the police have come on their, have come, you know, to do their own again. After the military. Because we know that what the military are doing there, and we want the people over there, that they should be very skeptical with the military activities in their community, because we know that they have no genuine, you know, intentions. They must have ulterior and sinister motives, all right? And so we warn them, do not, you know, accept hook, line, and sinker what the military is doing. What they are giving you is paracetamol, panadol for the Medicare. Who said it then? Paracetamol, panadol for the Medicare from the Nigerian army. They should go to Bruno State and do that for the Medicare. They should go to Casina where they used to build factories, industries, and everything. They should go and do that Medicare there. You understand? They should go to northern Nigeria. People there cannot even access health care. In the southeast, we have lesser poor people in the southeast, so they can access health care more than those in the northern Nigeria. So they should go there and do this free Medicare. And this time around, the place is, you know, carrying out this illegal activity. So what's happening there? That we want the police to be shooting causing panic they want the people to die of high blood pressure that's all when each time they see people of the south east you know they feel so you know they feel like they have seen their enemy the police we're talking about the army we're talking about the military all of them dss and so particularly the hometown of onyendu you know those living around that place let, let me tell you uh, let, this. Let us understand this. The Nigerian police, the Nigerian army, the security agency in Nigeria, they are seeing people of the South East as if they are, they, they, you know, they are enemies because they are listening to Martin Amdekan. That's all. So let us understand this point now. When Onyendu will say sit at home, people will sit at home. And of course, because of Onyendu's incarceration, that people have been sitting at home on Mondays and on the days he will be going to the court. So these things are making them to be so jealous and envious. And whenever they see a Southeasterner, I tell you, any man in the Southeast, they side them. Even outside the Southeast, they look at them with disdain. We have to tell ourselves the truth. 
that is this, what is happening in Nigeria. We are seeing it in the. We are, we are moving around. We are seeing what the police are, what they are doing. We are having an interface with them, the military. Yes, once you posted them here, they will look at everybody here, Tom Dick and Harry, as enemy. The way they have taken onion to. Yes, that's the way they will take any you know, other person from the southeast. Now, when they see you outside the southeast, you also an enemy. Yes, and if they dare get you, you know, in those their, their locations, my brother, you know, you have to be very careful. Yes, and these are the people. The security agents, the governors are bringing down to us. They come with prejudice. They come with the head. Yes, they are bigots, ethnic jingoes, in the military, in the police. What are they doing there? Not to cause genocide. God forbid them. And so they have to tell the world what they are doing there. Tomorrow they will say, this has happened. Exactly what they did. What they do was... Um, released from detention facility in 2017. Yes, he was doing his thing peacefully, moving around peacefully. No disturbances. The military swooped, you know, on his country home. Shooting, causing panic and pandemonium. Of course, they killed several persons in that shooting, a shootout. And so it was a very pitiable situation. And Onyendo have to escape for his dear life. And today, the government is charging him that he looked, he, he, you know, he jumped the bell. So, police is in Afurukumai. What are they doing? The world should understand this. What is going on in the Southeast? Now, tomorrow, they will start giving, you know, journalist information through their, you know, compromised media compromised media, junk journalism, brand envelope journalists, okay? This, what we're giving you now is the authentic, is the, you know, you know, raw information, no abracadabra, undiluted. It's in its natural state. Police invaded Afaroku, that's the point. The Nigerian police from Omaha, they will say blackmail, this is there. Vanguard has co corroborated it. Said they came in hillocks from the gate of the police, of the police uh, commissioners. In the same Omaha. Yes, no Omaha Metropolis. And so there's no blackmail, no propaganda. It's real. Go and make your findings. So this is what is happening. Nigerian police invasion, invasion in Afaruku, Omaha. Invasion, invading the hometown of Onyendu. Invading his house. That is what they are doing. Shooting sporadically. They want the people, the, the onion dudes, the kinsmen, the mothers there, the aged persons there, the women, they want them to die of heart attack. They want them to die of high blood, high, high blood pressure. High blood pressure. That's what they are doing there. Orchestrating violence. Those that will not be killed, those that, that maybe the bullets was unable to kill them. They will use drugs, expired drugs, through their medical outreach. If those medical, if those drugs didn't kill them or get some persons because they refused to come out, they will use the bullets or causing high blood pressure, causing heart attack while shooting sporadically. So the world should be should know what is happening.